Hi, I'm Mike the Healy Gutka. I healed myself of Crohn's and helped many other people overcome their digestive issues. And one big symptom that people complain a lot about is chronic fatigue. So in this video, I'm gonna show you four steps you can take to get rid of your fatigue. And I'm also gonna share with you a story of one of my students and exactly how he used these four steps to end his fatigue. It's actually very easy to fix fatigue. It's very simple and straightforward but we have to start using our brains. We have to start using logic, which is just absent in the holistic and modern medicine community today. And so the first thing that we have to do is understand the root cause, because if we don't do this, we're just running around, running around like chickens with their heads cut off. We have to understand the root cause. What is causing this fatigue? It, it's not a food. A food can trigger that symptom, but what, what do you think is controlling the fatigue? Is it a certain organ? A lot like the thyroid can get blamed a lot for, for fatigue and the thyroid does control your metabolism to a certain extent, but I, I, that's pretty, if you have a thyroid disorder, then we'll, we'll look at that some more, we'll talk about that. But what's controlling this whole process, what's controlling everything in your body is your brain and now when we look at this from the German new medicine perspective stress certain stress is going to cause our, our special program to go into the healing phase and fatigue is a healing symptom now I probably that probably made absolutely no sense but essentially every single organ in our body has a survival purpose and stress is a threat to that survival so when, so when we're stressed out, it's, it's fight or flight, all hands on deck, you know, you have a lot of energy, you're fighting off the tiger, and then when the tiger goes away or you punch the tiger in the head and he runs away or you kill the tiger and you wear it as a robe, the, the stress is over, the threat is over. And now the body has to recover from that overdrive and that's where the fatigue sets in. And there are and certain organs really crank up fatigue like make it really really intense i don't have i don't have this symptom but my wife has suffered from it um she has thyroid uh issues they're they're so much better we're actually going to do a video together at some point so what are the two programs and, and a lot of people it's, it's not the intestines it's not the intestines it's the bones the bones and the thyroid. I can't spell thyroid. Okay. So the bones and the thyroid really crank up fatigue. Now, why is this? So the bones, how do the bones, the joints, if you're someone who has like an achy back, you know, sore hips or sore knees or a really bad neck, what's going on here is, is a self-devaluation conflict. You know, if you get diagnosed with Crohn's or colitis or constipation, it's a, a, typically a normal, normal thing to think, oh, my gut isn't working. That's, you're self-devaluating your gut. And when you do that, it goes to the closest uh, bone and tissue. And so in the conflict active phase, it's, the bones are eroding, it's cell loss. And then when, it get, when the conflict gets resolved because your colonoscopy comes back clear or something like that, or you feel good for a few weeks and, oh, my gut's working again. Okay, th that's a conflict resolution. So the cell loss stops and then there's cell proliferation and chronic fatigue because the bones are responsible for the red blood cell production. And when your bone is too busy healing and stitching itself back together, it's building back stronger. Uh, it, it doesn't have the resources to create those red blood cells and, and give your body en energy. And also, it's rebuilding bone. It doesn't want you running a marathon. It wants you in bed. It wants you fatigued so you don't hurt yourself while we're doing this healing process. That's the, that's the beauty of this biological design and German New Medicine shows us these patterns so that we can make better decisions to get better. 
the thyroid. Um, so for example, my wife, she had a, a thyroid issue where we would go shopping. No, she grew up in the Soviet Union. So like things would sell out. And you know, if you didn't get there in time, you, you weren't gonna get it and then you couldn't do what you needed to do. So every time we went shopping, it was like all hands on deck. She was running through the, the grocery store, grabbing everything. And we get to the cash, the cash register and she just like literally just crashes. Like I'd have to carry her to the car. Now what the thyroid is doing, so when we're conflict, it, it controls the metabolism. And the conflict for this is I'm uh, not fast enough to catch this thing in my life or I was too slow to, to get rid of this, this bomb that I'm holding. So when she steps into the grocery store, she's got to get this, these are biological things. So that they're not logical and we're not logical creatures. Even I'm a self-taught computer programmer. I'm not logical. I'm an emotional creature. So when she steps into the grocery store, she's like, all right, I got to get this and this and the thyroid's on overdrive. Like, okay, we got to pump more tea, tea, whatever into the system. And so we can get all, all the things that we need. And then when it's done, it's like, okay, okay, we need to rest. So these are the two big things that cause fatigue. You could also just be in the healing phase for the intestines and, and be in fatigue, but that's something that lasts for a very short time. That should only last like a few weeks. If you're someone who's dealing with chronic fatigue that's been lasting for years, you have a bone special program or a thyroid special program. And you know, you'll know if you have a thyroid program, you know, you've probably already been diagnosed, you're taking T4 and all that stuff. Uh, bone program people, uh, you have achy backs and achy necks and stiff joints and stuff like that. And that's a self-devaluation uh, conflict. All right, now that we understand the root cause, uh, in the root cause being stress, these emotional triggers, you know, maybe when you get diarrhea, that's when you think to yourself, my gut's broken, my gut sucks. You're self-devaluating yourself. Getting diarrhea is like the emotional trigger. Being constipated is the emotional trigger. Um, you know, maybe when you feel really tired, you know, you just resolved something. I don't know what it is. It depends on what it is in your life, but you'll feel tired and when, when you feel tired, that is when you resolve something. So we got to understand, so, so the problem that we're seeing here is the, the big one that I'm seeing. So for, for Muhammad, uh, one, one of my students, he had really, he was really bad anemia. And so that, that's the bones. It's the bones always being stuck. He was, he was self-devaluated. My body doesn't work. My gut can't digest this. It can't digest that. So how do we start looking at the body differently? And I like to use, I don't know if this is like hypnosis or NLP, but it's called an empowering question. Because all day long, you know, you're going to the doctor and they're telling you, you're broken, you're not working, you know, self-evaluation, self-evaluation. We need to start telling our brain, you know, our body works just fine. We just don't know how to use it correctly. But with the knowledge of German new medicine, you know, we can slowly change this. So, so I want you to ask, your, ask yourself this three times a day. Your brain cannot ignore a question. How can, how can I empower my body to heal and enjoy it? And then tell yourself at least three times a day, or when, especially when you get symptoms, because that's probably when you devalue yourself the most. Uh, you know, every day my body is getting better and better. It's just stuck in a special program, and I'm going to figure it out. It's just coming out of a special program. See, I don't, I don't even want to use the word stuck in a special program because your subconscious doesn't know the difference between like a negative and a positive word. And so if you just say stuck, you know, the, the law of attraction here, if you say I'm stuck in a special program, it's going to want to keep you stuck in that special program where we want to break free of that special program. We want to let it run to completion. And if you guys, you don't know what I'm talking about, watch, um, I have a 30-day a plan. I don't know where I put it, but I have a 30-day plan. 
uh, just click down below and you get it for free and I have a video that shows you how to use this and it kind of explains more of the details on what's going on behind the scenes uh, with German New Medicine. So yes, so we want to start understanding, so for your guys' homework, we want to understand the bone special program, understand the thyroid special program. I can help you do that. Um, I need to make more videos on this. And you, know, you have learninggnm.com. It's absolutely free, but you know, read it enough times and it'll start to make sense. There's other people making, other German New Medicine practitioners making videos on this to help you understand this. But we wanna start, stop self-devaluating ourselves and start saying nice things about our body. Um, stopping food phobias. Stop blaming uh, fatigue on food. You might have a food track. You're, oh, every time I eat the staff of life, oh, I get fatigued. And I know that's probably a pattern in your life right now, but in order to break that pattern, you have to tell yourself, this energy dense food is, not co is, is good for me. It's healthy. I can tolerate this. I just read brain grain one too many times and brainwashed myself into, you know, tying it to one of these special programs. The brain controls the whole body. You can tolerate energy and nutrients, even if it's wrapped in gluten, it's delicious. Uh, and four, uh, just rest, rest and re stay relaxed about it. There's a lot of information going around today that you need to be more active and jog more and blah, 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 blah. You're fatigued for a reason. Maybe your bones are stitching you back together. Maybe your thyroid's healing. Maybe you're in the healing phase for something. Uh, just rest and it will eventually pass. If you are in a bone special program, you need a lot of rest. Like I, I think Dr. Hammer said sometimes he had some patients where it took like three months. How long does it take to heal a broken bone? It takes a long time. Bones take a long time to heal, so the healing phase is gonna be quite a while. So just be patient with yourself. Uh, the real chronic fatigue actually passes uh, quite fast. But you need to be patient and you need to start talking positively about yourself, especially if you have those achy joints and, and stuff like that. Because, you know, I'm broken. Oh, my gut doesn't work. All oh, this doesn't work. That doesn't work. That is going to keep the bone special program on forever. And this is what's causing the most fatigue for the vast majority of my students is the bone special program. Your body works perfectly. We are just not using it correctly. So guys, go down below and get your free 30-day program. I show you everything that I did and my students did to get better. And that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, uh, ask down below. I know this might be somewhat of a confusing video. Um, and you also have learninggnm.com to kind of help you understand these things. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.